Today's video is actually going to be a review on a new makeup product that is making waves, making room, selling out, and having the girls shook in the room. So I decided to take today to review the new Charlotte Tilbury um, Beautiful Skin Foundation. I got the shade 10 Warm Shards. So if you guys are interested in seeing all about this foundation, all the specs, a try on in my um, improved makeup routine. Make sure to like this video, make sure you subscribe to Go Do Becky TV to stay in tune with future uploads. And let's just get into some things. Let's dive into the review. Let's get into the specs of this foundation. So as I said, this is a um, 10 warm foundation color and it's currently sold out in most of the shades on Sephora's website for one 30 ml um, tube just like this it retails for $44 so that's actually pretty affordable in this foundation um, seems to be all the rave a lot of the girls are loving it so I'm gonna tell you guys this foundation claims to do this foundation claims to be a foundation that's supposed to um, be undetectable coverage improve the look of skin with each wear clinically improve your skin's um, results um, boost hydration by up to 166 percent plumps the skin this does have hyaluronic acid so if you're wondering what the plumping effect is it's hyaluronic this also says that skin tone looks more even by up to 210 percent and over 90 percent of the people that were able to try this product agreed in the survey um, over 90% said that this minimized the appearance or reduces the appearance of pigmentation and dark spots, which clearly I have um, sensitive acneic skin. Um, and this um, makes the skin instantly look brighter. So this has a lot of skincare claims. I'm really excited to see what this looks like on the skin. Um, it also has pollution defense and it is supposed to be long lasting and makes the skin appear more radiant by up to 285%. So many claims. Let's see what this is all about. So I already um, prepped and primed my skin. You guys know I use the Veil Primer by Hourglass. Okay, so I'm going to open this. It has a squeeze pump. So I'm just going to apply the back of my hand see what this part is looking like and then apply it to the skin you guys I always go with a warmer shade because I am super pale right now so bear with me so I'm using my black beauty blender and we're gonna get into some things so I did see that this foundation has 30 shades um for what it is I feel like there could be more shades because this is technically a foundation so I feel like there's more than 30 shades that are needed but as far as I feel like they could have um, had more shades this is supposed to be a medium natural finish foundation so medium coverage and natural finish so it's supposed to look like second skin and so far i do like the way it looks you guys know i always go a little bit darker with my foundation and then lighter with everything else because i'm super pale and i'm losing my color um i don't mind the shade 10 because like i said i don't wear foundation often because i don't do my makeup often besides when i film so being I don't mind it being a little bit darker because then I can transition into my summertime routine. Um, usually the only thing about Charlotte Tilbury foundation is for me, no matter what color I get in her other foundation products, complexion products, they always seem to pull too warm to orange. So this I don't mind being darker, but I probably could have gone with a lighter color. But I just didn't want anything like too neutral. So for hydration, this has hyaluronic acid and rose colored skincare properties. So 
we'll see it does look natural i do like it thus far to me thus far it does feel weightless i barely feel it on my skin i feel like the coverage is you know okay for me you guys know i like natural um i'll go in with one more pump so this is going to be the third pump and i would probably prefer to use this with a brush um just because you'll probably use less product a sponge always eats up most of your product so i'm just building up the coverage just to see where i can take this product and as i blend it down my neck you guys see that it kind of just appears <laughs> so it's hard for me right now i'm losing all my color but in the summertime this will definitely be a vibe if outside is back open you guys know like everything seems like it's slowing down i'm gonna finish out my makeup but i'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about what i think about the product what i think about charlotte tilbury and things like that so about the product how do i feel i feel like i like that charlotte tilbury and various brands like nars and you know a lot of these names that are more known for the artistry and photogenic work are now trying to add more skincare into their products i think it's essential i think it's something that should be implemented regardless of if you're wearing makeup or not but it just makes it that much more realistic especially for lifestyle purposes to add skincare properties you know into your foundations um, i also do feel like the Proof is in the pudding that Shine Tilbury, you know, has great products, but I just feel like she doesn't ever have enough shades in her products, ever. Like, Pillow Talk, number one best-selling, whether it's the lipstick, blush, and then they had to expand because there wasn't enough shades. And a lot of her stuff, I just feel like it's not enough shades. And even on her website, most of the shades that are sold out are lighter complexion so it tells you that people of brown skin aren't really reaching for her products because they don't feel like there's enough representation i'm assuming so that's the only thing that i would say that's the downside like i do feel like this is a universal product so even with a little bit goes a long way you don't need to do a full coverage look so you can make the colors work but we're in 2022 especially they should work because it says on this box science plus color science plus color right here so if it says science plus color in 2022 i feel like there's enough knowledge to come out with deeper complexion shades yes it takes more of a process but you have the technology it's 2022 you should be able to do it. i just feel like that's something to keep in mind and to notice her products are good the things that i use from her that i have i enjoy but i just feel like there's more work to be done with shades especially when it comes to the face palette i'm never going to come on here and not talk about representation when it comes to a brand and trying products because it's just like not acceptable to not feel like there's something for you and some people may say worry about yourself but it's bigger than just me if i were coming on here to just worry about myself then i wouldn't be making the content that i make you know so i'm just blending out the edges you guys finishing up my makeup the way i usually do with my products showing you what i use as i go on and do it i feel like my routine is pretty self-explanatory Okay, y'all, so to bake, I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Magic um, Powder, and it's the shade 2, Fair Medium, and this is the Under Eye Face Powder. So, so far, I still feel like the foundation is super lightweight. It's not heavy. It doesn't feel super oily or greasy. I do feel like my skin is hydrated and comfortable, not dry. And I do actually like that because you guys know, if you watch my vlogs and when I do my makeup, I like to use a lot of powders. 
so yeah i also have another complexion product that i wanted to share with you guys that i actually got complimentary of influencer thank you guys for sending this to me it's the new Givenchy, uh face um, powder and this is called the prism libre powder and i got the shade five i use this as an all over face powder and so i'll show y'all what that looks like but yeah so it just opens up like this and i like to use it as an all over face powder because it comes with all three so it'll brighten even and correct the skin tone and i just like it especially for like areas where i have texture i like to use it to just even out my skin and just set everything you know and it adds a nice bit of warmth especially for me I just feel like that's important making sure that my makeup is flash proof making sure that I don't look ghostly and things like that so if you guys are wondering why I like all these steps I like all these steps to secure that my makeup is gonna look great. As we are reaching the finish line of my foundation routine, I will say that as I'm finishing up my makeup using my other products, you know, making everything work because it's my first time using it, I will say that I like how everything's blending with this foundation. I did feel like it was a little bit too warm and rich, but then I was able to finesse it with my makeup routine. And as you guys see, once it dries down and oxidizes, it does get warmer. That's something I don't mind because you guys know i like a bright under eye i like to brighten up the center of my face so i don't mind it being darker because it helps me to not have a white cast or look ghostly i do like that no matter how much product or um powder i pile onto my skin it still feels lightweight my skin doesn't feel tight or dry this foundation is so hydrating that it just feels nice and light to touch i don't feel greasy oily so let's finish up the complexion i'm going to be using my patrick ta um, blush duo and she's so LA but I like to use it as a little bit of bronzer so I'm gonna do that and it's a nice cool tone shade that is rich so I just like to use it almost like a contour but not really just to add some dimension and depth to my face and yeah You guys know I like to keep it super simple. Next, I'm going to be using my Patrick Ta Blush Duo in the shade She's That Girl. So it comes with a cream and a powder. It's only fitting that I use this one because I feel like that girl. Especially when I upload consistent content. Oh baby, I feel like that girl. So this is how I like to put on my blush, y'all tapping it especially because i have texture and i just love how everything is sitting and looking so glowy and effortless next i'm going to be using my um pat mcgrath highlighter and it's so heavy and so luxurious uh, this is called champagne gold it's so divine so high quality and it looks just like this so i'm going to use that on camera with you guys for the first time Okay guys, so I've completed my makeup and some, some of my final steps using Charlotte Tilbury products were using this Flawless Airbrush Finishing Powder all over the skin, specifically under my um, eyes and to brighten my center of my face. And then I used the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Setting Spray to set that all up and to just make everything stay. And I do like those products. Those are products that I have in my routine that I use on the daily when I do wear makeup. Um, so when I want to talk about my final thoughts, I want to pinpoint how easy and stress-free this product is. You can use your fingers for application. You can use a brush. You can use a sponge. I highly recommend a brush. Just applying the product directly onto your skin with your fingers and blending it out brush. A beauty sponge soaks up way too much product and you'll be wasting your money. I do like this product. 
I do like how it performs. I do not regret purchasing this item even though I do feel like she could do better in the shade range department as far as like getting the shades right. I don't know. It's still not NARS level. It's still not long home level. Um, she just needs a little more work with the shades. But as far as performance, I do like the products. I do like what it is hitting for. It is a comfortable, lightweight, medium to buildable coverage foundation as it claims. And my skin feeling really great. I have a glowy, flawless looking complexion. And that's all the look really asks for. This performs really well to where it's worth the splurge. I'll be the first to tell you that a lot of Charlotte Tilbury products are hyped up for the aesthetic it has to be because when I see people use the product I'm like okay I could have got that with a drugstore product I could have got that same effect with something half the price but I feel like the price point on this is perfect the wearability is amazing the versatility is quite nice I feel like you could use this in a multitude of ways whether it's for a light touch up whether it's for a full coverage glam look whether it's for an easy simple everyday glowy youthful look just like this I feel like you know it's pretty versatile I just wish the shades were a little bit better but that department is something that these brands are just gonna have to like normalize because it don't make no sense I'm glad that she made this foundation more hydrating because her more buildable medium full coverage foundations are usually matte and matte doesn't work for everyone um especially this time of year it's just too cold to be wearing matte foundations all the time so this was definitely a needed staple in my foundation collection because the foundations that i use if you guys watch my channel you guys know i use my long comb taunty doll my og my nars matte foundation and these are just sometimes if i don't prep the skin right baby it's a little bit too dry <laughs> especially with <laughs> especially with this winter it's a little bit brutal so it's great to have versatility in my foundation collection um but it's up to you guys if you feel like this is necessary i have more normal to dry skin so this product did claim to minimize pores um and to even out the skin's texture and skin tone Mm, those claims are a little bit iffy to me because it did cling to dry patches that I have here so I mean that's something that you can finesse and finagle with the right skincare products and if you want to um, minimize pores I feel like you need to use a pore minimizing moisturizer primer and then this not just this on its own and expect to have mad happen on your skin like that's just not even practical to think that way or to even advertise that way <laughs> um so yeah those claims i'm a little bit iffy on i can't really speak for the oily skin girls on how this is going to stay on during the day but i will say that there's different ways that you can finesse this product to stay on by using her setting mist that will lock in your makeup for sure by using her setting powder that will lock up your makeup for sure those will probably change the game and change the outcome um so yeah i mean this is up to you if you feel like you need a more hydrating foundation that has skincare properties you guys let me know down in the comments below if you will be picking this up if you tried it and what you think about this product i thus far do like it i feel like there's some exaggeration in the claims <laughs> that it's gonna magically make you poreless make you you know have perfect skin even out your skin tone it's a makeup product for God's sakes. It's not a facelift or microdermabrasion or, you know, you know. So, I, <laughs> I, I mean, it's all to get our attention and to make us purchase a product, right? Which we did. So, an A for them. They got our coin. But I do like the products and I think it's worth trying out. You guys, let me know down below in the comments if you're going to be interested in purchasing this. If you did purchase it and what are your thoughts about it. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to Cozy Wacky TV. And I'll see you guys later.